Hi, it's John here from Speedy Brick. And the other day I published the video for this car, the M4 GT3, where I did all the fix and improvements that I like to do uh, on the car. Uh, but I did it in a little bit different format than previously. And now people are asking me uh, if I can do a kind of a step-by-step -step build of the car. So uh, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna start off uh, with a bit of deconstruction. So that is the little M4 deconstructed. As you can see, I've already taken a whole lot of parts out of here as well, which I'm not going to reuse. And they're new parts, so that's, uh, I'm not gonna reuse those. Uh, but what we can start doing is re doing a be, bit of a rebuild and I can show as I go what the new components are. So the first uh, the first thing is this new, uh, so it was a one by uh, brick and now it's a two by um, bracket rather. So now we're just adding one bracket length in here and we've got uh, it on both sides. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the same colors uh, for everything, so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then we'll just add in, back and add in the pieces with one extra um, stud length. And we can rebuild this bit. And then we've got our extra one, one stud, stud length extra here and uh, that means we can just fill in the gaps and we put our little exhaust back on and this whole element was was there already so I'll just uh, put that back where uh, effectively in the same position but one further and then this little piece uh, can go I I should really add a uh, another piece in here, but I'm struggling with white um, one by twos at the moment, so I've just left that out. Uh, I could put another brick in here or another plate in here, but I, uh, I'm not worried about that. So I'm just gonna put a new one by six there. And uh, now I can just, uh, I'll just uh, fix up the, the other side as well. I've got a one by three tile here because I didn't have um, I didn't have another one by one tile for this spot, so that's why I've done it that way. Uh, and I could transfer the sticker, but I but I have not done that yet. Um, so it's effectively the same kind of a mirror of the other side, uh, apart from there's no exhaust on the side. And then I've added here a a one by uh, um, one by one uh, brick with a snot on the side, and a little uh, angled piece or um, cheese slope, just to get that angle. And then this little handle piece uh, fits in there perfectly. That's that. This goes uh, underneath because we're lengthening this piece as well. So we're moving, effectively moving the uh, connection point on further, one, one on. And uh, we're also increasing the height here. So what I decided to do is very kind of make it very simple for myself and just add in a tile here. And this is the connection point for, for the tile. So we're just adding in uh, under the windscreen, we're just adding in one tile. Oh, before I forget, I should make life easy for myself. So when we put the roof on, you'll see that I have a bit of a problem putting the putting the uh, the backrest for the chair uh, or the seat in place. So what I'm doing is I'm extending it one. Uh, but to do that, I'm actually uh, making uh, this thing always falls out. Um, I'm making this half half a snot down and one further so I can effectively put the seat lower and it's it's not perfect but it, you know otherwise just doesn't fit so I can put that back in unfortunately this thing falls out constantly 
and I can put that back in and I can put this thing back in place. It actually, it doesn't actually change its height at all uh, because we are adding underneath the roof, we're going to add another plate uh, and we're going to add some plates on the sides here as well. And effectively, we're just increasing the height here by, by one. And that enables us to connect this point at the same, same height. Or at, um, this point here gets connected at one height higher. So I've added in a, a, a quarter, cheese, uh, quarter um, round there. And um, it's a bit of a compromise with pieces here because I don't have everything uh, that I want to have. So some color little compromises going coming in. So again, that little um, quarter round. So then the stuff in here we also need to raise up, and effectively we're just I'm doing that with a. Um, two by uh, two plate which we can put in put in there and I'm using the same um, same pieces again so that makes it uh, easy and I've changed out the handlebar handle piece to a uh, double G slope and uh, that enables me to have this flatter back end and there i'm finishing it off with a tile and two quarter rounds so effectively we've got it lower across across here and we need to put the handle back in and i'm adding in a, a piece underneath a um um one by two it doesn't actually matter what it is. Uh, I think that's the way it goes around. No, it goes the other way around. It goes the other way around. And effectively, that means that we can put uh, the windscreen back in, but we need to raise this up by one plate. So we're going to use a two, two by two plates, and we can just put the other pieces back back on. And we need to raise this construction up also but one plate so I'm just using two black plates for that and we can just put that put that in place and then we can put the windscreen back in and where are the other pieces gone oh here and then we need to lengthen this construction here because we're adding in that, that length. So I found a, an old trans black uh, piece. So we're gonna use that. I'm gonna put a one by two underneath it and a one by three on top of it. And we've got the same, uh, same concept. And so we can put that in place. And we've got the same thing for the other side, except from just using the two one by uh, one black trans that came with it. And I've got a one by three plate there. And then we've got the two sides that go on. What have I done wrong there? These are in the wrong places. And then we can put the uh, the top back on. And here what I've done is just added in another plate so we can uh, finish it off. And unfortunately, I didn't have another one of these or this color in in, uh, the, uh, in a one by two. So I'm just using one uh, extra piece that came with the set, which has got that um, a print on it. And... Um, and we just fill in the, the 
color scheme and I'm taking the antenna off uh, mainly because I just don't think it's necessary so we can take that and antenna off there and that is the the back end reconst reconstructed oh we're going to put the wing back on so for the wing what I've done is I've taken these slopes inverted slopes and I using that instead so uh, we've got f I've got four of them and that just enables me to change the this um, the thinness of this end here and I've also taken off the uh, one uh, one by one here and just plugging this directly into that position so it'll, it effectively raises up the um, the rear wing by one uh, one plate so it, it gives us a better proportions for the the uh, the wing height and so at the back you can see here you've got less bulk here at the back and you've got um i've turned i put, put that thing on the wrong way around um that g slope should be the other way around so i'll change that so i wasn't really happy with what i just done then so i've i've kind of reverted so i've taken this piece out and i've taken those two pieces out and i've put this handlebar or this handle back in and i think that makes the window uh line better uh, but then we can put the wing on so i've made the wing wing thinner uh, as i as i mentioned and uh, so i was just trying to get kind of a better line better line through through here so kind of less bulk here so that's that was the reason for for that mod so that's uh the back end uh, completed and now we can start working on the the front end so um I had to add one length here. So I've added one here and I'm adding one here. So we've moved this forward. And so I we had this here before, uh, but I need to basically replace that and make it one longer. So I've taken two uh, three by three plates and then we're just gonna use the one by uh, two with a, um, across in it and that gives us a replacement for for this so we can get rid of that and we can get on with the rest of the reconstruction that's going to go there like that and this is effectively fitting in the same place so we also adding in to one by Two plates onto this and we're going to add that into our length so that goes going to go there and we've got uh, an extra length here so that was a one by two I'm going to make that a one by three and then we're also lengthening this piece and that becomes our connection point from here to here We're going to add this on there, put our one by threes in there, and then we can connect this directly onto there. So we just effectively made that one longer. Uh, and then these effectively are going in uh, exactly where they were before. A white, a black one, and we're going to add in some some height in here, and so that is strengthening it all up again. 
and this is an extra height so it's going to go back in there and we've changed this over from a a um, longer piece <coughs> to uh, to just a one by uh, whoops one by two and here we're going to put an so lots of pieces are falling off all the time. So we can effectively start putting the front back together. And so that's almost what it was before, but I've got in here a, a slope and it was a, um, it, it was just this piece here going in, but because we've added in this piece here, uh, the angle wasn't right anymore. So I've here just added in a one by six and uh, we're going to put two black tiles on there uh, to cover. Somewhere else, another one here. I'll find it again. Um, and, oh, sorry, I was going to put a blue one on the side. That's right. And we're going to put a one by one tile there. And then we've got our shaped. Uh, pieces this was going this was like this previously and effectively that piece is in the same color scheme I need to create a sticker to cover these two pieces or this one anyway and this is being replaced by a one by two slope on both sides and then We've got this uh, piece from the um, BMW, uh, this new piece uh, from the other BMW. And I've got two one by one uh, tiles, which we're putting it in, in there. And that will just fill in that gap there. And I've got the same thing on the other side to fill in that gap. And then we put the wheels back in. And that is the model complete. So I hope you liked seeing how I, how I built the whole thing and all the changes that I've made. And um, let me know if, if you've got any other ideas on how it can be improved. See you on the other side. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.